So, here we are, day two of my sky blocking. And we ended last time with cooking some fish in the frying pan. And I have a fishing rod. And at some point I will set up an automated fisher. And I will probably adjust these. Oh, hello, light wave. You're you looking all notice. decked out. You didn't even notice I was standing behind you with a knife. <laughs> no, I didn't notice that you were standing behind me with a knife. <laughs> Not until you got walked into my face. Meow. So is this a present? A warp book with two of 54 pages. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of want to show off my island a bit. Oh, well, that sounds like a plan. So I, I take it I right-click on it. Okay, and warp to waypoint, light wave. Let's see. Okay. And so I wait for it to load, and I've got this... Oh! All right, so we've got this nice big runway. So you built your bridge to the hub at a Y of 64. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to the Y. Why not? <laughs> What do you expect me to say? <laughs> <laughs> so you've got your giant multi-layer farm over here. I want to point out to the viewers at home just how sensible and logical your island is compared to my island. In fact, if oh. I did not know better... I added those slabs there. I understand. But the point is, your island looks just like the single player island you've got this a uh, nice little two by two over here going down a hole and you can walk out the hole and even if you get into the water stream you can just walk right out of the water stream oops that worked in the single player world all right so i walk out over here there we go so yeah it's all nice and straightforward it's a huge improvement over my island. Have you seen my island? Nope. And what? Oh, yeah, I have. I just haven't looked at it extensively. Take a look. You like will I find it to be did. horrid. And over here is your tree farm. Ooh, pretty. Slime tree. And what is... His Stone barrel sucks. with a villager. Yeah, I built this thing originally to contain a blaze. Oh, okay. And what trade my... does he have? Um, Emeralds for sure. a sword. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it sucks. Well, considering that it's easy enough to automate the production of emeralds, that's not so sucky. Yep. <clears throat> now, this is my machine that cranks out soul sand. Can you please explain how this machine that cranks out soul sand works. It's a self-powered matter generator. It makes sand and dirt. A and soul sand. Powered matter generator. Okay, over here. All right. At the core of, of it all, we have the igneous extruder. This is feeding into this pulverizer, which turns cobblestone into gravel. Okay. That pulverizer feeds into this pulverizer, turns which turns gravel into, into gravel. sand. Got it. And then the gravel goes down below? Yep, and turns to sand. Uh -huh. And I just opened it up a bit so that it would, uh... Okay. I, I, I come in and skim a little gravel and sand off the top every now and then so that, it, uh, or so that I can sift them and whatnot. Got Anyways, it. the igneous extruder is also feeding into this crucible over the flame, making lava, which, if you'll follow me... Just a second. Okay, the... Okay, how does the crucible generate lava? It melts cobblestone from the flame. Oh, now, oh, so, oh, I see. The igneous extruder on top is generating cobblestone to feed both the crucible and the pulverizer. Yep. And back here. And I see your chests are storing some spare sand and dust. Okay. Yes. And back here. As I head to the back. Yes. This fluid duct extracts the lava from the crucible and uses it to power the magmatic dynamo, 
which powers both the pulverizers. Aha. Uh -huh. And the end result is sand, which gets sucked into these. Sucked oh, oh into I, the see, I see. I see. So you're pulling the, the uh, you're pulling the lava liquid out, and then the dynamo is is powering. So the power uh, the power of the cobblestone is enough to allow you to break the cobblestone into parts and generate lava. You have a you have an infinite energy m machine. <laughs> yes. yes. Negative I entropy. Yes, he does. <laughs> Negative entropy. <laughs> Then I have the aqueous accumulator filling all these barrels full of water. Right. A piece of mycelium in the middle to turn them into witch water. And the sand from the end of the machine is feeding into them oh. in the top and pulling out at the bottom. Hold on a second. And the end result is soul sand, which is shoved into the quest delivery system. Okay. So one, one more time. You went a little faster than I could follow. Okay. The aqueous accumulator fills yes. these barrels with sand. Because of the piece of mycelium in the center... Hold on, hold on. The, it fills up the barrels with sand, you said? Water, sorry. Oh, okay. It fills them up with water. All right. Because of the mycelium in the center... Oh, it, I didn't um, notice that. Okay. The water converts to witch water. Once it's done and converted to witch water, the uh, sand from the machine feeds into it, converts to soul sand, and then is sucked out the bottom and delivered through the quest delivery system, which is currently on soul sound. Uh -huh. Since the construction of this machine, it has produced 4,229 pieces. Or no, wait. Sorry, it has produced a oh, little, probably around three, or uh, probably over three and a half thousand. I'm not entirely sure since I went to the nether with an excavator and sped up the quest a bit. Okay, so hold on. So there's this, oh, I see. And there is a dirt. Um... Yes, I'm getting to that. Okay. Now, since the, con the creation of witch water will cause mushrooms to grow spontaneously on the mycelium. Right. I set up a terrain smasher to harvest those mushrooms. Feeds into this chest, which feeds into that barrel, which composts into dirt. So, on top of everything else, it's making dirt for me, too. <laughs> Twice. Great. Okay. <gasps> and Kefka so found something incredibly hilarious. Yes, Kefka. Like an animated GIF put out by the creator of the Simply Jetpacks mod. Oh, the one with the zombie? Yes. He throws a jetpack at a zombie. The zombie takes off into the air and explodes in fireworks. What? <laughs> it's amazing. He throws a jetpack at a zombie. The zombie the picks zombie it up picks and he quips it, it, it on. and then flies. <clears throat> and then flies into the air, at which point the jetpack explodes in a colorful explosion of fireworks. <laughs> Dropping a potato. And here right. you have started your blood magic. Yes. Would you like to make a donation? <laughs> Ruin of augmented capacity. And this is your altar. Okay. And yeah, I really need to keep working on it. I'm probably going to need help. Blood ruin. The... Augmented capacity. Blood ruin. And I won't ask you to explain blood magic at the moment because I'm not even... We're close to being ready to start it. Is this a level 2 or a level 1? This is a level 2. Okay. Level 1 is just the altar. I really should upgrade it to a tier 3 as soon as I can, but... Alright. And does Moss Stone spread on its own? No. That's what I, I thought. Had some, I had some barrels here, and during the rain they filled up with water, and they, uh made some mossy cobble correct me if i'm wrong a rain a barrel in the rain only turns the one stone directly underneath it to moss a barrel with water in it will spread mossy cobblestone near it near it not just the one spice underneath it but just near it okay yeah all right so so i now i know Uh, what is... Okay, I have never seen Tinkerer's Steelworks before, so this second furnace, the high oven controller, and scorched drain, this is all news to me. Hi, see my armor? It's made out of steel. Yeah, I... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought you made steel by putting, um, uh, iron along with gunpowder, sand, and... 
something else in a blast furnace and getting it really hot and and cooking and oh that's right coal coal sorry coal isn't sand. that rotary craft yes it is <laughs> this isn't fucking rotary craft <laughs> well i'm sorry but that's the only steel i know you don't know railcraft what railcraft it has steel yes but i don't use railcraft First off, your farm does not have staircases to let you get from level to level. Oh, wait, there it is, ladders. <laughs> or you could always swim. On my hunger? <laughs> well, there's a huge chest of food right here. And I know you're going to steal those pumpkins. Not earned, not earned, not <laughs> earned. <laughs> All right, so you've got an ender generator, which takes ender pearls to make power, correct? Yep. And you have a chest that has... Oh, hey, I should check that chest. Oh, my. Where and how and what's causing... What's generating all this stuff? Walk over here. Okay, now, okay, that's my next question. You have fluid duct, item duct, and energy conduit. Over here. All right. You see that? Oh, what? What in... That. What is that? That is a sludge boiler. It takes sludge, which is generated by all the harvesters of the Omni Farm, and turns it into the various materials you saw in the chest. Okay, so it takes sludge, and I'm going to... Okay. Hey, key bounce. Yes? Watch this. <laughs> Did I have you thinking for a moment there? <laughs> well, considering that I heard you drink the potion, I knew that it was a flight potion. Aw. But yeah, this is my sludge boiler. Okay. So, an item duct, fluid duct, and... Okay. So, I'm guessing that the item duct takes sludge down to the sludge boiler. Uh, the fluid duct takes sludge down to the sludge boiler. Oh, okay. I see. Fluid duct has sludge. It alternates between sludge and empty, actually. I caught it. There we go. It's changing. Okay, so it takes sludge down to the sludge boiler. The sludge boiler sends um, energy up the hardened energy conduit. No, the sludge boiler sends items up the item duct and receives energy from the energy conduit. It needs energy to keep going. So the oh. sludge. Okay, so the sludge boiler is not an engine powered by sludge. No, it it takes power and turns the sludge into useful items. Okay, what does it turn to sludge? Okay, I noticed that the item duct is going up, up, up. Yeah, that's from all the harvesters. Okay, this item duct feeds into the golden chest for the harvesters. Then oh. there's another item, item duct that, feed, that comes up from the sludge boiler. Oh, so the sludge boiler is depositing into the chest. Yep, and I just emptied that chest into my AE network, so if you want to see all the things that it produced, you'll have to go back and look at okay. your video. I guess my next question is, can you show me where the um, hardened energy conduit and the um, sludge duct get started from? How they get generated? Well, they lead into the um, harvesters. The harvesters harvest these crops and deposit them into the item duct. The energy conduit brings energy from that ender, ender generator and powers the planters and the harvesters. Okay, so, so if I understand this correctly, the um, ender generator down below is powering the hardened energy conduit, and the hardened energy conduit is powering all of the machines in this farm. Yes. Okay, and the well, harvesters are generating um, items for the item duct, and who is generating the sludge? The harvesters. The harvesters generate both plants into the item duct and sludge into the fluid duct. Yes, the sludge is a byproduct. Okay. I tested a bit and found out that there were 27 plants that were not destroyed by the harvester. So the bottom three floors only have harvesters because they don't need to be, they're not destroyed by it and they don't need to be replanted. The uh -huh. top four floors all have harvesters and planters. The planter replants the plant after the harvester harvests it. Can coffee beans be turned into drinkable coffee yet? Yeah, but it's really weak. 
Okay. So now we're up to the fourth floor, and these are the uh, these are the places where the plants are destroyed by the harvester. So I am so on your a planter what underneath. So there's a planter on the bottom level of the floor that replants the plants. All nine patches. Okay, where is the... Okay, I'm... Maybe I'm on the wrong floor, but I don't see a planter block. Look up. Oh! <laughs> and I'm sure YouTubers are laughing at me right now. <laughs> the planter for this floor is actually underneath this piece of farmland. It has to be placed underneath the place it's planting on. Oh! Ah. See the colors? Yes, I do. They determine in the filter which direction each one is planted. Okay. This, it fits into my farm design absolutely perfectly. Okay. Something that I'm very curious about. A 3x3 three three patch is not really an ideal size. Is that is? Did you use that size because uh, there's something about the planter that requires it to be a three by three? No, I just like the design. Okay. And honestly, this entire place is automated, and it's self-sustaining, so I don't really need it to be incredibly efficient. I've got all the time in the world. Okay, you have a spot over here that oh, just, never mind, it just planted. <laughs> yep, that's what the planter does. And then if you come to the top level, you'll see why I consider this place self-sustaining. Okay, so what's happening here on the... So you have ender lilies. Yep. To supply your um, your um, end farm. Oh, ow, ooh. Yeah, and what's powering this place? <laughs> ender, ender pearls. <laughs> exactly. I wonder if these have generated any extra seeds. Nope, not yet. Oh, and I, yeah. think, I think I just caught a soul sand harvest a second ago. Ah, yeah, another wart. Hold on, hold on. Tile.pumpkinstem.name. That's not right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ender pearls power everything, and this thing provides you with ender pearls. And if yep. anything, you probably need to make more ender lily plants than that, right? What do you mean? Are these nine ender lilies, given how slowly they grow, enough? Yeah. Um, keep out... Yes? I kind of hate to say this on camera, but the ender generator is just a bit overpowered. One, or at least it's overpowered for this farm. It's way more than it needs. One ender pearl will keep that thing running, and this farm... Or for, or we'll keep it running for 20 minutes, and this farm does not burn through enough energy to exhaust that. So af it'll fill up its internal battery, mm -hmm. and after the Ender Pearl is fully used up, it'll take it another 20 minutes or so to you to burn through the internal battery of the Ender or of the uh, generator. Okay, here's what I'm noticing. It takes... if I added a few, if I added a few extra batteries, I could probably run this thing for like two hours off a single Ender Pearl. In 7 times 20 minutes, you consume 7 pearls and generate 9. So it is already um, self-sufficient, even before you take into account the fact that the generator is overpowered and has a buffer. Yeah, I'm getting surplus ender pearls from this. Yes, you are. Are you getting, ex are you getting any spare ender lilies? Are, um, I, do they have a chance of, of making extras? They have a chance of making extra seeds, but I haven't gotten any from that yet. Oh. <clears throat> Not so, from auto farming them anyway. I got a couple from when I still had a manual farm. Ah. And... Oh, oh, I see a spawning zone. You've got a spawning pad with grass and... Some blocks that I don't recognize. Mm hmm and you've got a mob spawning. Ooh, ooh, look at all those creepers and archers. They're called skeletons, Key. Yes. Buzzeye!
Come on, come on. Ooh, you're 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 collapsing them. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Wrecked. Not bad. What weapon was that? They're, are oh, they ass. running from you in fear? Maybe. <laughs> this is a bronze battle axe, my friend. It does the job. So this is your sugarcane farm. I'm trying to walk through it without falling anywhere. Falling? What do you mean? Well, I want to. I don't know really what where I can and cannot go with it safely. Now you've got bees set up over here. Yes, I should check on them. By the way, this one is my manual hive. Where is my dealizer? Any trace of common yet? What was forest, that? Forest, meadows, forest. You little. I have lots of extra princesses. Because for some reason, or because in this pack they generate princesses too. Yes. Every now and then. Well, keep in mind, most people don't get, um, what was it, 16 of every type of hive? Yeah, I haven't used any of those yet. Oh! So this oversupply is just normal operation. Yeah, um, this was just, I got a few bees as quest rewards, and, few. um... <laughs> Yeah, just a few bees. The rest were all the hives. I mean, I have a ton of hives, but I haven't dipped into that at all. Ah. I'm going to need to make myself another ME drive pretty soon. So just a quick question. It was my understanding that if you had beehives working, then flowers would be produced. Yet I don't see any flowers around. This is green clay. Derp. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> now what's upstairs? Uh dang. Your end I portal. I mean not end portal, your nether portal. I miscounted. I've what? used the last swig on my flight potion. That wonderful nineteen minute flight potion I had. What about it? It's empty now. Right. Can't you refill I... it? Not until I have the next tier of Blood Orb. Oh. Which will require some serious working. A chest containing chicken eggs. Yeah, there's a chicken in there. Sitting on top of a hopper. A chicken on a hopper? Yes. We need to seriously get you um, going with uh, high-speed automation of, of chicken multiplication. I could, but my, but I don't really have that big of a demand for eggs at the moment, so... Oops. Quest hmm. delivery system. Smelly bleep. A yep. sewer. A fluid duct. Oh, so that's a real simple setup, isn't it? Yep. Really simple. Just a sewer with a platinum range upgrade. Feeding directly into the quest delivery system. Right. Might take a while, but it'll finish. It, darn. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was. I thought I was placing a lot of blocks, so I turned on any eyes mob spawn highlighter. God, I love the watering can. Don't you? I'm going to save some bone meal so that I can make it as soon as I have reached the point of getting past the uh, wild white mushroom. Did you plant that? Uh, no, it. The, the uh, watering can did that. Wow. Okay, that's... Then I did not, the watering can is more powerful Holy. than I thought. 
What? A uh, starfruit sapling spawned and uh, fertilized, and that was fast. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The watering can can generate saplings? It will occasionally create things that bone meal creates. And it did so, and then watered it, and it was up in a full tree before I could say, Holy crap! Okay, given that this thing would generate, um... Given that this thing would generate a large amount of fruit... Well, that's right, you don't need fruit, do you? Well, I'm planning on building an orchard later. Right. I'm gonna see how well Mine Factory Reloaded's fruit pickers work. Alright. Now, a word of caution. If you make it... I'm worried that things are going to go over the wall if you have the... Um, it, I'm worried that things will jump over the wall if you have the, um, the ground all the way up to the wall like that. Um, the wall is a block and a half high. It's basically fenced. Oh. Made out of stone. Oh. That's nice to know. You couldn't jump over it. I could, but then again, I've got a long sword. So you're saying that I should not be able to jump over this? I wouldn't... You should... You can't. Okay. Unless you uh, were to build something in front of it. I'm not going to be it. that stupid. I finally have enough dirt to cover this entire area. Now, I can tell that's dark even without turning on my lighter. Your lighter? Light level analyzers. I'll tell you, though, the area where the grass is darker just because it's a swampland... Throws you off a bit, or...? Quite a bit. That's why I prefer... that's why I rely on any eye. Okay. What a horrible time for my flight potion to be empty. I just had to show off for you, didn't I? <laughs> so how long does it take you to refill that flight potion? Um, I can't do it. Not until I get to the next tier of blood orb. So how did you make that flight potion? Got it as a quest reward. Ah. Oh, I see. The lever over here powers the train smasher, which feeds the um, stuff into that chest. Okay. Um, the lever doesn't power the train smasher. The train power smasher is self-powered. I have it set to ignore redstone signals and do oh, whatever. Then what is that lever for? The item duct. The item oh, ducts are, are powered? Yeah, the item duck needs a redstone signal. Unless oh. it has a pneumatic servo. Okay. I think this one over here might... No, wait, this one didn't need one because the machine is ejecting into it. But yeah, you don't didn't notice this bunch of le levers on the floor here? Just a moment. I did, but I did not know what they were for. And they're for the item ducts. Because it's cheaper than... God dang it. Because it's cheaper than uh, making pneumatic servos for it. Okay. And this is a temporary setup anyway. I have just taken Lightwave's platform of... Well, the Bridge of Death. The Bridge of Death, thank you. Lightwave's <laughs> Bridge of Death over the... Yes, the... Bridge of Death over the Lava Falls. Why what? is there lava inside the central hub anyways? Because it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, in the center of the hub, underneath Jaded Strongbox, is another Strongbox. In here is a lesson by Morvelaria. Oh my god. What's your the name again, why don't ya? <laughs> <laughs> so correct me once more, this time on camera. I'm pretty sure it's Morvalira. Morvalira. 
And this book says... Not entirely sure. Okay, this book says... Don't be so paranoid. Love the cute one. <laughs> but I have to know... If I am going to be this paranoid... You're going for the Magnum Torch, aren't you? I'm not going for the Magnum Torch. I just want to know what else is underneath there. You're going to fall into the void. No, I'm not. Famous last words. <laughs> I might need a little help getting out of this pit, but I'm not going to fall into the void. <laughs> However, there is nothing underneath that second chest. <laughs> There we go. As good as new if you don't look too closely. Alright, well this is going to be the end of the two-parter A Look at Light Waves Base. And thank you everybody, and I will see you again next time, and as usual, please leave likes, dislikes, and comments. Any final departing words, um, Light Wave? Meow. Of course. Words to live by.